This is a, a nine month update on AT&T Fiber Internet. Um, I have the AT&T Fiber 1000, which is the fastest of the, um, of the high speed internets. It's um, somewhere around 900 megabytes up and download both. Um, it varies from time to time about how much you get on there. There's no limit to how much data you have. Um, on there. Uh, AT&T comes with both a 100 megabyte system that has a terabyte of data limit and they charge you 50, uh, 50 gig for every uh, $10 for every 50 gigabyte above that. Um, but um, the thing is a terabyte is way more than I've ever used even on my um, 1000 system. I've never come even remotely close to that. Um, in fact, I have, I've used so little it's, it's almost embarrassing. Um, the one thing is that, that the first thing as far as calculations you need to do as far as how much you need is um, you need to allow around 30 megabytes for each person that you have. So if you have like four people in a household, um, you know, you can go for the thousand or so. Um, it's kind of expensive, probably the hundred is still probably going to be good enough for most people. Um, the thing is, the difference is there's no way to change once you make your first uh, decision. Um, you're stuck on it for a year. And so uh, and there's a $10 discount for a thing, and then they'll charge you if you, um, if you ch try to change it or anything. So it, it, it just, it's really, you really need to make your, your firm decision when you first start. Um, and um, there's two components to this. There's a component outside, and then there's a component in your where you have the system installed. Um, outside, you should really never touch that at all. Uh, the inside thing, um, I have. They originally installed mine, uh, hooking it up to the power to the house where it was on all the time. But I found that that was totally unnecessary, especially during storms and other things. And so I have it hooked up to an unremotable power supply. And so when the power supply gets turned on, then every, the whole system gets turned on. Uh, my system takes me about two minutes for the whole system to come up, so it can take a, a little longer than um, than my uh, uh, cable used to come up. It was about 30 seconds, but um, but it's really not a problem. I just have to be in a habit of turning it on and then, um, doing something else and then coming back to it. Um, the only thing you'd ever do to the one in the house is that uh, there's a cable they install on there, and if, you, if it comes with like a five plus or something, you wanted a six, you could try changing that. I just like the looks of the one they put in, even though it was a five plus or something, and so I, I left it. And the performance seems to be fine with it, so I hadn't had any problems with that. Um, and um, those are some of the main issues I've had. Um, as far as the speed is concerned, it's really kind of hard to tell how much benefit I really receive out of this. Um, the thing is, on Linux, uh, when I do downloads and stuff, a lot of them don't show it's downloading faster than 30 megabytes per second unless you're downloading a particular program. If you're downloading one program, then it's, it's faster, but uh, just downloading updates and stuff, it, a lot of the sites, at least on some of the Linuxes I use, didn't, I can't really tell that, that it's, I'm really gaining anything on the speed or anything. And the iPhone is actually quite helpful. They have such big files on the iPhone. When I download those things, it's, it, it is faster. And it's, the iPhone is using Wi-Fi, um, but the Wi-Fi on the iPhone is not too bad. So it's um, it's pretty decent even with an SE. Um, and so um, the um, the biggest question I have is you know how useful it is. The only thing I found that it really is very useful for is uploading videos. Um, to YouTube uh, with Ethereum in 4K, um, you know, regular 1080p. I mean, even a regular internet at 30 megabytes is plenty fast enough. Um, so I haven't really, per se, gained a lot from the speed of it. Even though it's it's really seems to be it's supposed to be relatively fast. It tests really fast. Um, most of the test sites I go to, um, it tests at least reasonably well, regardless. Um, but um, it, um, it it's not a holy grail. Uh, the cost is, is kind of high for what you get. Um, 
if you have an opportunity to get on a discount on, on a cable system, um, you'd be better off just taking the discount on the cable system. It would be, it'd be vastly cheaper than this. Um, the cost is just really totally out of sight on that. Uh, but that's really, the cost is really the only disadvantage uh, of the system. And, and, the, and the fact is that there's a lot of, uh, and the gaming doesn't seem to be any faster uh, at all. Um, I can't tell that it is. Um, I don't really do gaming, but I have played some chess games and stuff on there, and um, and I don't do well at all as far as um, there being less la latency or anything. I can't tell there's any less latency, and I get beat, the tar beat out of me all the time, and so I, I can't tell there's any advantage on that. Uh, Intel pushes um, real heavily uh, on the 5G and about how fast it's going to be on the gaming and all this stuff and everything, but uh, I haven't seen that. Um, uh, Intel also pushes the AX routers, and I'm not real crazy about the AX routers. Uh, AX routers have a real short range, and um, the reliability of them, um, the reviews I've read aren't that great. Uh, they're not any better than the ACs as far as the speed and the reliability, so I kind of got a down thing on the the AX, in spite of the fact that the Intel pushes it extremely hard. Uh, they're acting like it's the next generation, it's the greatest thing in the world and all that. And the 5G, they're pushing that like it's real high. Uh, the 5G can do a little faster on the download, but it's much slower on the upload. It, I think the 5G will do up to about 1.5 uh, terabyte download and maybe 100 megabyte upload or something like that. It's, it's not real good. Uh, for the cost of 5G, it's just really not worth it. Apple didn't even upload to 5G this year, and there's a lot of radiation and a lot of disadvantage with 5G, so I'm not really excited about 5G. Um, the AT&T is better than, than, uh, um, than a lot of, uh, um, than the 5G, I, I would say by a long shot on that. Um, I would strongly recommend the, the, uh, that, and also even the AT&T fiber is going to be better, better than a digital fiber. A digital, a digital thing where you get a gigabyte down, you'll get like maybe 35 megabytes of upload, where I get like 900 megabytes of upload. So there's a huge difference on the upload for a digital system. So uh, I, can't imagine, I can't even comprehend anybody buying a digital on, the, on the, this thing unless that's all they have available. They don't have access to the fiber. Um, anyway, that's my nine month update and that's all I have for right now. And um, I'll guys gonna let you go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.